Okay guys, let's start with Euclidean geometry and uh, what we're going to start off with first is just a definition. Okay, so it's going to be the definition of degrees. Okay, and basically what we are going to say is that angles on a straight line will add up to 180 degrees so so that's that's defined we're not saying that's the size we're saying that's how it's defined so if I have a straight line and I have an angle on that straight line, then this angle plus that angle together will be um, 180 degrees. Okay, so these angles will add up to 180 degrees. Now from this, we're going to prove quite a few theorems. Actually, not that many, but about two or three. Okay, we're going to prove theorems, but before we go to those theorems, I want you guys to um, to just draw any two lines that intersect each other. It doesn't really matter how you draw them. And then let's make this one about 70 degrees. And based on what I just said, you're not allowed to use anything else. Any, it doesn't matter. I don't care what else you know. You're only allowed to use this. That angles on a straight line will add up to 180. That's all you're allowed to use. And I want you to fill out all of the other angles on this uh, that we have here. We've got an angle here, there, and there. I want you to fill out all the other angles for me. Okay, Carl, tell me, what did you get this angle here? What size do you get it? <laughs> the way I see it is 110. 110, very good. How did you get it? Why do you say it's 110? Uh, in total, this is uh, a circle. Mm -hmm. so no, you're not allowed to use that. Oh. I told you you're only allowed to use this, that angles on a straight line will add up to 180. So 70 plus 110 equals 280. Very good, very good. Now, uh, Kotatsu, what, what size did you get this one? 70. Why do you get this one 70? Because when you add up with that one, because it's also the straight line. So well done, we're just now looking at this straight line. Okay, so this straight line, these two together will add up to 180. Good. Um, okay, Karabo, do you know what size this one will be? This one will also be 110 degrees wide. Good, there's two lines you could have used here. You could either, either use the relationship between this angle and that angle or between these two angles. But they should give you the same answer. Now the reason why I wanted you guys to do that first is because the idea in proving our next theorem, this is going to be the first theorem we prove. Okay, our next theorem is that vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, now what's vertically opposite angles? Well, it's these angles that's across from each other like this. You see, they're equal. Okay, so whenever you've got two lines cutting each other like that, you have vertically opposite angles. This one will be equal to that one, and this one will be equal to that one. Does that make sense? Okay. We need to prove it though. So in geometry, the whole aim of geometry is we can't use anything until we've proven it's true. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, to show you this proof. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to show it to you. 
just so that you can see what is the format what does the proof look like okay so the proof we always start with a to prove okay we, actually before we can get to a to prove we need a little sketch okay so you can draw any random sketch sometimes they give you a sketch Okay, let's say this is A, B, C, D, and the center is M. Now we want to prove in this sketch, it was a random sketch, so if I can prove it for this sketch, I can prove it for any sketch. So we call it an arbitrary sketch. I want to prove that angle A, M, C. Do you understand what I mean when I say angle A, M, C? If I number these, which angle am I referring to? If I say AMC. Sorry? I'm referring to angle 1. Does everyone see why? So there's AMC. So we're using that angle. Okay, so AMC, this is what we want to, sorry, I should write it here, to prove. That is one, what I want to prove, that AMC is equal to is equal to which angle what can you tell me which angle is it equal to D, D, excellent it's equal to d m e that's what i want to prove now sometimes i need to draw in a, a little construction and then i would have a, a, a word here construction and i would write what i would construct in this case it's not necessary the only thing i'm allowed to use in this uh, proof is what I know already. The only thing I know so far is that angles on a straight line add up to 180. So let me show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start by saying that angle A2, uh, not A2, sorry, A, M, D, in other words, M2, that angle is equal to 180 degrees minus angle uh, actually let's do it the other way around let's uh, sorry I'm messing you up now I'm going to say that angle A M C is equal to 180 degrees minus this angle does that make sense so this angle I can find by taking 180 degrees minus that angle does that make sense Okay, and that angle is angle A, M, D. And now I need to write a reason next to here. Now, you can either write out this whole definition, or you can just use a shorthand that we have that is angles on STRGT on straight line. Angles on straight line, everyone will know what you, what you mean. Why does... Why is AMC uh, equal to 180 minus AMD? Because angles on a straight line, angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. And now we also know that angle DMB I can get by taking 180 degrees minus in other words, this angle, let me use a different color, this angle I can get by taking these two angles that make up 180, so 180 minus angle A, N, D. Angles, that should be an S, angles on straight line. You guys agree with me so far? You understand what I'm doing? Now you can see that since AMC is equal to, uh, to this, but DMB is also equal to the same thing. You see, I, can, I use the same formula to calculate both. That must mean that those two are equal. So AMC is equal to DMB. And that follows directly from what we've shown so far.